am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So today's video is going to be about Donald Trump's future regarding uh, this prison sentence, uh, potential uh, sentence, uh, having to do with the 34 counts that he's just found guilty of. He's a convicted felon, okay? So that's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. The video today is going to be talking about uh, the consequences of these uh, these felony convictions, okay? I guess the first thing we want to know, or one of the important things we want to know, is is this going to, um, uh, is, he, is this going to disqualify him from being president? You know, he can't even vote in Florida now that he's a convicted felon. So Florida vote, felon, uh, affect presidency, uh, presidency, if he becomes president, uh, will it stop him from being president? Presidency. And um, and then just off the top of the questions after that. But the first one's, so the Florida vote, uh, as far as he's a felon, how's it going to uh, affect him? Affect the presidency, stop the presidency. And will this, uh, yeah, stop him from becoming the president? Yeah, that's it. And then we'll ask some probably off the cuff questions after that. Let me put this somewhere that I can refer to it. I know it's only three questions, and I'm sure you're finding that pretty lame that I can't remember three questions. But honestly, when I'm trying to remember the um, the uh, divination of the cards, um, my poor brain can't keep up with uh, all those questions. So again, I've got work going on. That was shaky. I've got work going on here at my home, and that's why uh, sometimes I'm not able to do the video because I just wasn't, wasn't able to find a moment that was quiet. Um, the previous place I lived uh, was a huge three-story house, so I could go up to another floor and be quiet from the rest of the uh, house. But this is just a one-story uh, 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 condominium, and uh, everything is a straight shot that way. No, that way. And... Um, so whatever works going on over there, uh, you're going to hear it over here. Right now, I've got a quiet time when before the workers get here, so I'm going to try to do this quickly. Uh, one of my viewers and, uh, oh, I've forgotten your name, and I, uh, Toby, Toby Lynn, said, yeah, she liked one of the videos where it was off the cuff and I just asked a bunch of questions out of nowhere, so I'll try to do a little bit more of that. And any of you have suggestions, tell me. I'm anxious to please you, so tell me what you want to hear, what you want me to, to talk about, and nine times out of ten, that's what I'll do. So we're going to talk about uh, how uh, this uh, conviction will affect the presidency, the Florida vote, because he can't vote in Florida because he's a felon, but before we do any of that, we'll have just a moment, you know, of meditation. Okay, so how is all of this going to affect uh, Trump regarding uh, this presidential bid and the presidency in general if he would become president again? I can tell you, if he became president again, I'm leaving the country. That's, that's a fact. Now, you know, I'll, I'm, the easiest thing would be to go to Canada, but I might uh, go to Europe. Um, but uh, I'm not going to stick around to watch the, this place become a failed uh, democracy, at least not watch it in person. So, Donald Trump and the presidency. Let's do the Florida situation first. I'll give it one more spin. Oh, that's a difficult uh, thing. One more spin for the Florida situation. Donald Trump regarding 
you can't vote in Florida. How is it going to affect anything? I think I'm going to do six cards, but I might start out with three just to see if that gets me the answer. So one, two, three. If I go to six, then I'll turn it into a dyadic cross, which is just six cards. It's the first part of a Celtic cross. Dyadic cross is. So affecting Donald Trump, this Florida situation where he is a convicted felon. Well, he is a convicted felon now, and uh, he can't vote in Florida. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so this is the Four of Coins. Interesting, the Four of Coins is trying to really hold on to your value. So I guess that's the situation now that he is a convicted felon. He has to try and find ways to hold on to his value all around. And what's interesting here is this almost is a little reminiscent of the new New York skyline that we have since 9-11. I say new, it's been so many years now. But um, so holding on to his value, his coins are, are a value or money. Well, it could be both for, the, for that, couldn't it? Ne oh man, the next thing for Trump uh, in Florida as convicted for truth, justice, rules, and law reigns. Interesting. And the world card. This is new beginnings, completely new beginnings, and also when you have a new beginning, it's an uh, that's an ending. So this is a whole new ball game in Florida. I'm going to turn this into a, a dyadic cross. So the signifier card then is that he's trying to hold on to the value. The challenge to that is that truth, justice, rules, and law reign. Okay, that's the challenge to his trying to hold on to his value. The basis of this whole thing is that this is new. This is gonna be a new uh, situation uh, for, for him. Then the past of this for Donald Trump. Okay, so this is a seven of the cups. So this is illusion and delusion, and it's in the past. So all the, 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 the tricks that he's used, all the ways that he's tried to fool uh, everyone is in the past. It's all exposed now, okay? Nothing really can be hidden. Once you know this person is a convicted felon, you know how to deal with them. The world knows how to deal with them. In the sky of this thing, you know, there's the best you can hope for is this Knight of Wands. So Wands are action plans, forward movement. And the Knight of Wands is telling us this is the guy that's going to fight for his plan, for what he's been doing. So in the sky of this is the best he can hope for is just a constant battle for uh, whatever actions he wants to take. Man. And then the likely outcome <coughs> for Donald Trump regarding this in Florida specifically. <coughs> King of Cups. So he is going to be, and it's interesting how truth, justice, rules, and law king and the King of Cups are not facing each other. So he's looking away. He's looking to garner emotional support. He will be the king of looking for that emotional support. And I'm going to tell you, when you run across someone who is all involved in their emotional situation, they're not very useful towards the practical things in life, in my opinion. So in Florida, this is what's going to happen. This is going to be specifically his life, holding on to his value, challenged by the, the law. Uh, it's a whole new ball game for him. Uh, all the illusion is in the past. He's going to have to fight, fight, fight for any action that he is to, thinking about. And, but he will become the king, if he's not already, of trying to garner that emotional support. Man, that's all he's got left. Very interesting. A whole a man's entire life. Well, he had a fantastic life. You know, he ruined it himself in the in the last bit, just like Ruli Giuliani. Man, Ruli Giuliani had his old fool, and uh, and now look. So Donald Trump. I'm gonna concentrate on Donald Trump. I don't want cards to get confused. So Donald Trump. Now. I'm going to save this thing about the presidency for the last because I don't think he's going to become president. Me, not the cards. It's me. But, um, my hair. But, um, will this stop him from getting to the presidency? Will this, the fact that he's now a convicted felon, has this opened enough people's eyes? Enough people, because not everyone is going to be convinced, but has this opened enough people's eyes to stop him from getting into the presidency? Let's do three cards and see how that goes. One, two, three. Will this stop Donald Trump from touching the presidency personally? 
the hanged man. He has been hung. Okay. That, I mean, that's that's how this has happened. He's gotten the sentence. Well, he hasn't gotten the sentence, but he's got the conviction. He's he's hung. So he has to look at everything from some kind of a different perspective. I think this is him. The next one up is the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is, um, you know, trying to move on. Trying to get another... You know, I do want to look at that... Uh, definition for the crow tarot it should be similar to the rider weight definition but i do want to just verify with this crow tarot and look you may find people that say oh look he's looking it up in that book he doesn't know what he's doing what's well, probably right but um but i'm not gonna hide from that if i need to a better uh, definition you know that's what you're supposed to do look for it um uh, choppy waters yeah so it's trying to move out of uh difficult waters that's what this is all about. And uh, so he's going to spend a significant amount of time. I mean, it's right in the center of this reed, you know, looking for ways to move out of troubled water. And then the final one is temperance. Okay, and look at this crow. The crows are so smart. And Donald Trump is as smart as a crow, at least. They're very smart for their for their for the animal that they are. And look at him. He's learned how to pour some of that emotion that's glittering into another cup. He's trying to save something here. He's trying to keep something or use something to its complete advantage. That is Trump. I mean, he is not, he's not intelligent. He's not learned, but he's wily. So um, how will this, um, will this stop him from becoming the president? He's a hanged man moving out of troubled waters trying to move things around. This says to me that uh, this is his fight to try to keep going on that presidency. But you know, even if he becomes president, he, this is a New York conviction. He can't turn that around. He can't uh, dismiss that. Uh, let's do three more cards in a slightly different layout here. Um, will this stop the presidency for Donald Trump? Well, <laughs> the fool, that's a whole new game. He is a fool, okay? Uh, the fool continues to try to do things uh, but but it's the beginning of a journey in this regard. Um, he still has that star power. And there's so many issues coming at him all at the same time. Nothing is going to be easy, but it doesn't tell me definitely is this going to stop him from becoming the president. One more card. Okay, so it's interesting. So the Six of Pentacles is distributing the, uh, the wealth, distributing the value. I think he's going to have to distribute his value. You know, he can't concentrate on just becoming the president. He's got to concentrate on saving whatever he can of his empire and his influence in the world. It's a division. I think it's still up in the air. I think it's up to everyone to do what they can to to make happen what they want to happen as far as this, this Trump president is concerned. But um, yeah, he's dividing his time, much like you've seen in this in this trial. He's had to divide his time with this trial when he can't campaign just on the steps of the courthouse, which he probably enjoys. He's gotten more rest since this campaign, since this trial, than probably he's had in years. So interesting. Um, it's not a definite that will stop the presidency, but it's made it really hard, really hard. Okay, so that's interesting. Stop the presidency. I'm going to say, you know, it's going in that direction. Uh, it's not um, probably completely written yet, but that is the way it's going. Is uh, We don't think he's going to do jail time, but let's see. If he's going to face some sort of sequesterment, is that a word? Of being being sequestered, being partitioned off, being monitored, being um, you know, if it's parole, if it's actually being kept in one place, whether it be one of his mansions or uh, Mar-a-Lago, or I just can't imagine he's going to go to an actual facility. But um, so, how is this going to affect his freedom? His actual freedom. Three cards. Look, these two wanted to come out together too. Three. Okay. How is this going to affect 
his actual freedom. He, his only gain is compassion, is trying to get people to, <coughs> to feel sorry for him. The Three of Cups is celebrations, okay? <laughs> and the Seven of Cups is illusion and delusion. <coughs> it's the only game he has left. It's all about emotional support. That's the only thing he has left going for him. Um, is to one more card. Ace of Swords will rule. So no, truth, justice, rules, and law will rule this day. This is all he's got left. This game of, of, of begging for your emotional support and uh, and sympathy. But um, there there will be some wins in that for him. So he will maintain a small number. Look at this three of his um, of his followers, his cult, I guess. Illusion, illusion is going to remain the game of the day for him, but uh, truth, justice, rules, and law will reign. <coughs> All the dust that's been kicked up in my home because of this construction, it just lingers. Uh, this is in the morning, and that I'm doing this, so the workers haven't arrived yet, but everything they did the night before is still floating around the house. So. What else do we want to know? What else do we want to know about Donald Trump? <gasps> Melania. Will Melania, she's already leading a very separate life. Will she make any official split? Will she make any kind of official split from Trump? Melania, will she make some sort of an official split from Trump. Start with one card. <laughs> so the five of ones is um, arguing, consternation, pointless little battles. So there's going to be more of this, uh, but this doesn't tell me she'll make a definite split. Let's do one more card to see if it tells me that. Page of Pentacles, very little uh, value. Uh, he has very little value to her now. I think she squirreled away enough uh, millions that um, very little value, but I don't think she's going to drop him completely. One more card. The Magician. Yeah, she's going to try to squeeze out every little trick she can from this uh, marriage. She, she um, forfeited, really, the best part of her life for this man and I guess she's gotten paid for it so but um, yeah she's I don't think she's going to leave I think she will just fade away wait for him to die at this point you know why can't she wait another five years for him to kick the bucket you know and if he becomes incompetent doesn't the wife have uh, the first dib on who says what happens to him Except other than any, any written, uh, anything written in his uh, will, his uh, wishes as far as how he's going to be disposed of in the end. Um, so Melania looks like she's going to hang in there till the end. The children, children, the grown kids that are his core, which is uh, the namesake, Eric and the daughter, Ivanka. The children, three cards. Eric, interesting that came out in my mouth first. Don and Ivanka. Okay, he's gonna be high up there in that emotional support category. Donald Trump Jr. is going to keep fighting. And Ivanka emerges as the queen of actions. So, and look, she's looking away. So they're each going to uh, continue in their own little path. Uh, for Eric, this emotional um, support battle. Remember, he was there through the whole trial giving what little emotional support 
he got from anybody. That was Eric. And so he's going to continue in that role, Queen of Cups. Uh, his other son, his namesake, uh, the Knight of Swords, he will continue to fight for something. Every little scrap he can get uh, in the world and personally. And then uh, Ivanka, no, she will be the Queen of Action. She's going to uh, continue to make moves to turn away from all of this. Well, I think that's all I'm going to do today. Um, thank you for letting me be late with this video. Of course, you had no say in it, but uh, listen, I understand that you expect to have something on my channel to watch when you expect to want to see it. And uh, because that's what I do. I, all, only thing I watch is YouTube, different uh, things on YouTube and the people I subscribe to, I expect them to be there when I want a video, but I'm disappointed when they're not. So I understand that you're disappointed when there's not a video and I apologize, but I'm not going to keep apologizing. You understand what's going on and uh, this is it. So thank you very much for tuning in again. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So this is the Crow Tarot by M.J. Cullinan. I suppose that's how that's pronounced. And uh, they come in a really nice, sturdy box. Um, if you got this as a gift, you feel like, you know, that was a nice gift. The uh, guidebook is pretty interesting. Uh, it has uh, good uh, suggestions out of how to use these cards for divination. And then right in the back here, it talks about the artist and the author of Crow Tarot. And it just says that Margot Jones, so that is MJ in the MJ Cullinan, is a Seattle-based artist, writer, mother, and lover of all things magical, especially crow. She attended Parsons School of Design, yet her unique te uh, technique of telling stories through digital collage is self-taught and has been her passion for over 10 years. And I don't know that's as of when. Um, nature and its creatures are a familiar theme in MJ's work. However, having grown up in the south of Boston, her collages are heavily influenced by the energy of the city. Her work often merges the two worlds. Her path into the world of tarot was a beautiful accident that came out of a difficult time in her life. The process of creating Crow Tarot helped her rediscover her own wings, though at the time she didn't realize how life-changing the project would become. She simply fell in love with the process, the messages, and the feeling uh, each card revoked. The Crow Tarot, MJ's first published deck, has achieved a significant following and recognition with crow lovers and the tarot community. When MJ is not making art or writing for her Crow Tarot blog, Hmm. She's spending time with her daughter River, playing in nature, practicing magic, and finding new sources of inspiration. So I love that, to, to know a little bit about the artist. And uh, like I say, the descriptions here are useful in the divination, especially when so much thought is going into the cards. The, the cards themselves are just really amazing, and I love using these cards a lot. They've got a sort of a, an antique uh, kind of patina to the cards. I mean, it's not really a patina because it's fake. But you can see how each card has a little wornness about it that kind of makes them uh, fun to use. And they're beautiful cards. And, you know, what, the reason I do this is for those folks who don't get to see uh, full decks of tarot cards very often. At least this way you get a little preview of some of these cards. And uh, it's a nice way to uh, shuffle up the cards without damaging them. I like to keep my cards in good shape as long as I can. And um, so that is... The Crow Tarot. 